we could see one dollar one dollar bet incoming yo what's going on guys flames in here and today i will be bringing you guys a brand new video today i will be bringing you a v chain price analysis and price prediction as well so if you're interested in this jam just sit back and enjoy so we'll start off here on coin market cap and just uh take a look at the overall market in general um yesterday all of our portfolios would have pumped heavily i was chilling yesterday i made like mid six figures yesterday which was pretty nice but i went to bed and pretty much lost most of the gains that i made yesterday but that was always expected we were always looking for a pullback here the market was pretty overextended and way over leveraged as well so so the whales obviously just liquidated a lot of over long traders and We've just had this nice wee correction. It'll give us time to just buy the dip, maybe fill some of our orders, and yeah, we're chilling. We'll move over to VeChain, ticker VET. It's currently sitting at rank number 13 in market cap. That is absolutely insane. Like I was in this project a long time ago. I was in this project before it was one cent, and this has actually taken over Zill for me. This is now my biggest bag after the recent pumps that it's been doing. Like as you can see, it is went absolutely parabolic and i love to see it market cap of that we're sitting here at 13.4 billion so it's got a got a good amount of dollars in it but if you actually saw dogecoin it got up to like 45 billion which just gives me a lot of hope to be honest for the good fundamental projects like v chain and zilliqa and rsr and just different projects that we're all invested in like for the fundamentals just gives me hope that that type of money can flow into all of these different alts, if you know what I mean. Um, if you look over here, we have the 74% of the circulating supply out. We have a 64 billion of them uh, out of a max supply of 86 billion. Um, if you scroll down here, the all time high for VET, I think it was yesterday. Um, yeah, a day ago at 27.8 cents. That is crazy. Like, I absolutely love to see it. I love VET. I praised it for, I think it was when back in September when I started buying that. Uh, we'll move over to markets here, and I can show you where you can pick yourself some Vici and up. Uh, if you if you have a Binance account, you'll be able to pick it up there. Binance US now hold it. Huobi, KuCoin, just anything with a high confidence. As I say in every video, Binance is always a good one. There's Bittrex. Um, just have a look at this list and you'll be able to see if you're uh there's so many like you'll be able to pick up that somewhere if you're in like america even this the place i heard that was pretty hard to find alts and binance yes not hold it so we're not too bad we'll move over into trading view here and we'll do some price analysis so we're sitting here on the four hour i'll actually just move to the daily here really quick and just show you like i bought when did it i put the marker down this was Oh, it was on October. I said September, but October time. 0 0.0009. And look at look at it since then. It's it's just done some crazy, crazy parabolic action. Like look at it. Just kept going. I remember it was keeping up with RSR and Zill was the one that was ahead, but VAT somehow just fucking started booming and caught up with it. I hope VAT does a theta to be honest. It's starting it's starting to do it. It's going well. Um, we'll move down to the 4 hour here and I can uh, run a fib retracement for you if you don't actually have any vet yourself and are looking to pick some up. We'll go from this move down here and see what this is looking like. So if we move down to the 1 hour here just uh, to make it look a little nicer on the fib you can see more of it interacting with different levels. So look in here, I'll make it a little bigger, make the fit pretty much the size of the screen. So we had this pump that sort of, it was sort of a gra more gradual one than this one, obviously it moved sideways a little. And then we had that massive pump. You could run the fib from here, but we'll just start from here because we nearly retraced that whole run anyway. So the 0 0.5 pretty much held us up. We did tap through the 618 and down to the, down halfway through to the 786 but if you look here like the 0 0.5 is pretty much holding us up and hopefully 
we'll just have some sideways movement in between this 0 0.5 and 382 and then we'll hopefully break up through the 382 and get moving again we might come back and retest it and hopefully use it as support that that's usually a bullish sign if it's above the 382 level um, using that as support and then it should blast off and maybe probably make new all-time highs again that seems to be what bets doing it just pumps and doesn't really sit for too long before pumping again I'd like to see it keep doing that to be honest uh, it got a new partnership with Salesforce I think it was which made it pump I think it was back around here I, I don't honestly know what this pump was for this and Zill were just going crazy last night and then obviously fat retracement happened but you can't really complain it was obviously going to happen like look at Bitcoin the ass fell out of it the 20 21 percent retracement there but who's bothered like if you know what you're doing and you've been through markets like this you know that you're chilling we'll take a look at the bad BTC pair here really quickly and it's not looking bad at all this we'll move to the weekly here just really quickly like I had this chart drawn up and I was saying like I would love to be reaching these levels if you go back to my last vet price analysis like I was talking about reaching these levels about how crazy it would be we literally blasted through it and we are still above it right now like you should you could take some profits to be honest into Bitcoin if you were looking to um, personally I'm gonna still hold because I think that has a lot more to do it might retrace a little or it might not after that retracement that might be all there is to do to be honest even on the daily it doesn't really look like much has gone on but even on the four hour like that the drop doesn't seem that significant does it honestly that is a great project i could see it maybe reaching honestly one dollar was a, a vet meme for so long in the crypto community and i am a, a huge advocate for one dollar vet now i was thinking more like around 50 cents is where I was maybe gonna sell my bag for this cycle, but we could see $1, $1 vet incoming. That's all I have for today. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. I love you all, peace.